Here's an example of what you can do with Audacity. I have the drum track for my song here, and towards the end, the drums are louder than the rest of the track. And you can see if you click on the plus magnifier here, you can zoom in. You can also expand this by clicking at the bottom of the, the track window. Then using the I-beam tool, which is your selection tool, I'm going to go down here to where you can see the drums get louder. And I'm just going to click and drag to select that all the way to the end of the track. Now when you click on the plus sign again, it'll just zoom in on the area you have selected. And you can see I didn't quite get it here. You can tell where the loud part begins. So if you hold your mouse right next to that gray line, be careful and just nudge it right over. And now, hit the space bar on the keyboard. That will stop and start play on whatever you have selected. Now when you zoom out, it'll still stay within that selection. So to make that part quieter, I will go up here under Effect, drop down the Effect window, and the first one is Amplify. With this, you can not only amplify a signal, you can lower the volume as well. So I'm going to lower it about 1 dB. You can also preview that by clicking the preview button and it'll play a small part of the selection. And say OK and you can see that it shrunk it down there. Hit Control Z to undo that and Control Y to redo it. And now I've got a comparison at least visually, of the high points on the wave. And when it comes into the part that's too much louder, I still think it's too loud. No problem, I'll just select it again, zoom in, do my selection so I know I'm tight on that, and then go under Effect and Repeat Amplify. You can also use Control R and repeat any effect that you have used. I'm making just that part of the sound quieter. I want it to match up with the volume of this stuff here. Now play it in comparison. Much better. Now to play that whole track, hit Control A to select all. And here's another thing you can do is just grab a loop out of a already recorded file. Say you want to create a drum loop. Try to find some hit points that look like they might work. And what you do is uh, hold down the shift key while you press the play button. And it will loop. Now hit the space bar to stop it. Now it's looping, but it doesn't sound smooth. So what I'm going to do is zoom in here 